Bruce Rivers, he's the criminal lawyer. But who is he? Bruce Rivers, he's the criminal lawyer. And who is he? Bruce Rivers, he's the criminal lawyer. And what he do? And he's gonna react to all the self-snitching. Oh. Hi, this is Bruce Rivers. Welcome to another episode of Criminal Lawyer Reacts. I'm Bruce Rivers, board certified criminal defense lawyer. Today we're reacting to Alex Jones as he mocks the jury when they awarded a large, large, large amount of money. But before we do that, remember this episode is brought to you by eForms.com. That's eForms.com. If you need a will, you need a power of attorney, you need a bill of sale, any kind of legal document, go to eForms.com. They can help you. And why pay a guy like me? Because I would just go to eForms.com, cut me out of this. Don't pay a lawyer a lot of money to create a form that you can do in two minutes. So go to eForms.com, find the link below. And now today we are reacting to Alex Jones. Now Alex Jones, he's been around the country defending himself against these horrible, horrible statements that he has made on InfoWars. He is so awful. He's made his money off of conspiracy theories and that's where he's going to stay, right? So let's just kind of, let's just get into it. Two plaintiffs, Robbie Parker. A. Defamation slash slander damages past and future, $60 million. $60 million. Now look look at him to the right here. He is he is in his studio. He's not in the courtroom, obviously. Yeah! 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 Fucking yeah! Fuck you, man. Emotional my distress friend. damages past Woo! and future. Mm. He is so disrespectful. And he's using this to make money. I mean, he's using, he's, he's broadcasting this. $60 million. Total fair, just, and reasonable damages to plaintiff Robert Parker and against Alex Jones and Free Speech Systems and line A and line B. Total $120 million. Yeah. By yeah. I, I, I don't know what he gets out of this except for just to be able to show that he's defiant. Um, you know, these families have gone through just an absolute horrible, horrible experience. And he's compounded that by just being so cruel. And then to react this way to the verdict. Two plaintiff David Wheeler, A, defamation slash slander damages, past and future, $25 million. B, emotional distress damages, past and future, $30 million. Yeah. Total, fair, just, and reasonable damages to plaintiff David Wheeler and against Alex Jones and Free Speech Systems at line A and line B, $55 million. Yeah. Uh, initial Never said their name, don't know who they are. To plaintiff. The problem he's got is that he didn't defend the lawsuit. And he and he defaulted on the laws on most of these lawsuits, and then just defended it on damages. Francine Wheeler, a defamation slash slander damages, past and future, twenty four million dollars. Yeah. B emotional. I don't, I don't know why he's doing this. It's just a shtick. It's just absolute shtick. Stress damages, past and future, thirty million dollars. Yeah. Fair, fair, just, and reasonable damages. To plaintiff Francine Wheeler and against Alex Jones and Free Speech Systems, bad line A and line B, total $54 million. Yeah! Now keep in mind, these are, this is on top of the $50 million that he was already ordered to pay in another case. So there's going to be, like, get in line. He's not going to have this money. But he can't discharge this in bankruptcy. Why can't he? Because it's an intentional tort. You, and you cannot discharge this in bankruptcy. By juror number one. Woo! To plaintiff Jacqueline Barton, A, defamation slash slander damages, past and future, $10 million. B, emotional distress damages, past and future, $18,800,000. Good, good. Total fair, just, and reasonable damages to plaintiff Jacqueline Barton and against Alex Jones and Free Speech Systems at line A and line B, $28,800,000. Initial by I, I just I don't understand the lack of humanity, but I mean just just decency. Put those numbers up. Two plaintiffs, Mark Barton. The reason he's saying that he is because he thinks he's completely insulated. Come on, go. Standard more damages, more than that. Future twenty five million dollars. That's better. B emotional distress damages, past and future. 
32 million 600,000. Never said their names, all so made up. And here's the thing. It doesn't matter that he said their names or not. He said the whole thing was a hoax. And he went on and on and on and on. And he, he actually said in trial that it that he realized it was real. No, nope. it's hilarious. Mark and Is it hilarious? And it ain't going to be hilarious when they keep chasing his ass all over the country. $57,600,000. That's better. Get those numbers up. Two plaintiffs, Nicole Hockley. A defamation slash. And here's the thing. This little, uh, these antics here can certainly be used in any future proceedings against Alex Jones. Slander damages, past and future, $32 million. B, emotional so distress. So the $73 million from Hermes wasn't future, enough. This is quite a money back. million six hundred thousand dollars Total, fair, just, and The difference is Remington had, had money, we don't. Hotly. Oh, yeah, they have money. And against Alex Jones and Free Speech Systems at line A and line B, $73,600,000. Yeah! Initial plaintiff, excuse me. Get initial those numbers up! Number See, now, one of the things he's going to talk about later is about any kind of appeal. Because he has the right to appeal these damage awards. But the problem that he's going to have is one of the things you have to say is that they're excessive. He's belying the point that they're excessive. Two plaintiffs, Ian Hockley. And they're not done. They're going to keep suing everybody. This is right. damages, past and future, $38 million. Good. B, emotional distress damages, past and future, $43,600,000. Million, million. Good. Total fair if we don't have a billion, I'm not happy. I want to be the billion dollar man. And against Alex Jones and Free Speech. And I just, it just breaks my heart that he's so callous. Systems at line A and line B, eighty-one million six hundred thousand dollars. Initial by juror number one. Good. Two plaintiff Jennifer Hensel, a defamation slash slander damages, past and future, twenty-one million dollars. B emotional distress damages. They actually past believe they're getting future, this money. It's like they believe all their own stuff. Total fair justice. And, and here's the thing: they probably won't get any of their money. But they'll do the same thing that the Goldman family has been able to do to O.J. And that is you chase him around here and there and, and they can make his life hell. And he'll try to do the shell game with companies with this and that. But they'll be able to make his life hell as time goes on. Trust in reasonable damages to plaintiff Jennifer Hensel and against Alex Jones and Free Speech Systems at line A and line B, $52 million. Good. Initial by Bravo. Two plates of what a political Sosa. joke. A what a weaponized system. Because all they want is some billion dollar number. This is ridiculous. I don't have two million dollars. What's ridiculous is the fact that he, he is making another mockery out of these families. Emotional distress damages, past and future, $30 million. Total fair, just, and reasonable damages to plaintiff Donna Soto and against Alex Jones and Free Speech Systems at line A and line B, $48 million. Initialed by juror number one. They haven't she gotten to the FBI agent. I never said his name. Soto didn't know who he was. I want to hear that defamation, one. Excuse me. Defamation slash slander damages. Past and future, $30 million. The emotional distress damages. Past and future, $36 million. Total. Very difficult to defend the damages amount when you don't even defend the, the underlying case. Fair, just, and reasonable damages to plaintiff Carly Soto Parisi. And well, this is going to go on for hours. If I don't have a billion, I'm upset. And, and now they say, questioning election, same thing, got to sue Alex Jones. To plaintiff Carlos Matthew Soto. Can't get blood out of a stone. Slander damages. Oh, you got money. Past and future. $18,600,000. So this is what a show trial looks like. I mean, this is the left completely out of control. But is it the left, really? No, no it's not the left. It, it, is, it is people that you've hurt who are going after you. It has nothing to do with left or right. Do whatever they want, like drag queen story time, two men can have a baby. I mean, this is what they do. This is their, this is their, their panacea. At line A and line B. $57 million, $600,000. 57 million, 20 million, 50 million, 80 million, 100 million, blah, blah. You get a million, you get 100 million, you get a 50 million. Slander damages, past and future. Couldn't put on evidence, couldn't defend ourselves. Stress damages, past and future. That's because he defaulted. He defaulted. 
And then his lawyers <laughs> somehow gave the other side his cell phone information, a whole dump of his cell phone. Future million dollars. Hope fair, just, and reasonable damages to plaintiff Francine Wheeler against Elvis. Oh, I'm sorry. Jones. See, there's more charges. Oh, we're going to get to way, way past a million. Oh, sorry. $54 million, initialed by juror number one. Two plaintiff Jacqueline Barden, A, defamation slash slander damages, past and future, $10 million. B, emotional distress damages, past and future, $18,800,000. These have big numbers. They covered up what really happened, and now I'm the devil. I'm actually proud to be under this level of attack. He's saying that, but that ain't the fact. Told you there's four charges. But remember, all of it's cap but cuppa, which they claimed I had some unfair business trade. The judge decides that. That's where it doesn't matter. Why are these numbers only in the millions? It should be trillions per person. So when, when they go to make their motion for why these damages are too high. You got you got his own words saying that they're not high enough. I'm offended. Two plaintiffs, Nicole Hockley, A, defamation slash slander damages, past the future. This is what the hell's like. They just read out your damages. You don't even have the money. You're just you're still gonna sit there while they do this. Total fair, just, and reasonable damages to plaintiffs, Nicole Hockley, and against hell. And they lie and say I made money off of them. It's a gun control lobby made money off of it. $73,600,000, initialed by juror number one. Two plaintiffs, Ian Hockley. A, Do these people actually think they're getting any money? $38,000,000. And here's the thing. It doesn't really matter that they get any money or not. First of all, like I said, it's not dischargeable in bankruptcy. Second of all, if he wants to appeal and stay the execution of the judgment, he has to put up a bond, a bond for $965 million, which I don't think he'll be able to put up. And uh, the emotional distress damages passed in $43,600,000. Total fair, just, and reasonable damages to plaintiff Ian Hockley <laughs> and against Alex Jones and Free Speech Systems at line A and line B, $81,600,000. 81 million, these are big numbers. Million, that's good. Plaintiff We're well past a billion now, right? A, defamation. What are we at now, guys? Damages, past and future, $21 million. B, emotional distress damages, past We've lost future, count, it's in the billions, million okay? Million. So he, he does talk later about being able to just drag this out and through the court of appeals and and blah blah blah. Meanwhile, he'll do a shell game with companies and that kind of thing. So if you have and and he and during part of this, he was pimping his supporters to to buy his supplements and powder, whatever the fuck he sells. But the problem that he has is that uh, it, he's not going to be able to afford to put up a nine hundred sixty-five million dollar bond because you lose your appeal, they get executed on the bond. So number, that's number one. Number two, you can't discharge it in bankruptcy. And number three, so these guys and, and the other plaintiffs can just hound him till his dying day and uh, and garnish bank accounts, garnish you know whatever they can get their hands on, and just be a pain in his ass uh, every step of the way. That's probably more likely what's going to happen. So he sits there and tells them, oh, 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 you can't get any money from me. Any money he decides to, to, you know, squirrel away, they'll be able to find it. I mean, and, and when I say you can execute on on assets, they could execute on his studio equipment. They could execute on on his uh, yacht if he had one. Um, probably can't take his house, but they can take just about everything else. So what I what I would do if I'm the plaintiff's lawyer, that I would want to take his studio equipment and uh, and shut down his business. Uh, because that I just can't believe he is just so lacking in decency and humanity. These families have suffered enough. Just fucking stop. But he won't because that's his shtick. The election fraud, everything, you know, whatever, whatever he does, it's all, you know, lizard people and whatever the fuck he does. Anyway, this has just been our reaction to the, uh, to the incredible verdict. Uh, so kudos to the lawyers that, um, obtained this $965 million verdict against Alex Jones and and his companies. So I'm Bruce Rivers. 
just a quick update on Alex Jones, a little bit of the mechanics on how things work. Because if he can't put up a bond, they can execute on it, even though he's going to appeal it. So we'll see you next time here on Criminal Lawyer Reacts. I'm Bruce Rivers. Make sure you sign up, uh, subscribe, follow us on Instagram, follow us on Twitter, follow us on Patreon. And we'll see you next time here on Criminal Lawyer Reacts. Bruce Rivers just broke down your case. He know all the charges that you about to face. You ain't coming home till 2058. That self snitching gon' get you put away. Bruce Rivers just broke down your case. He know all the charges that you about to face. You ain't coming home till 2058. That self snitching gon' get you put away. 23 hour lockdown, please is that my god.